It does seem like there are pockets of protests happening at the same time in different parts of the world for various reasons. We'll find out more on this, but before then, welcome again to The Proof, where we delve into the depths of viral claims to uncover the truth. I'm Darshan Usman, and on this episode, we're dissecting a video allegedly showing protests in Senegal following President Macky Sall's decision to postpone the elections that were originally scheduled to hold this month. This is The Proof, powered by Africa Check. Joining me today is Kirsten Kosser, researcher at Africa Check. Hello, Kirsten. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you doing? I'm well, Dash, and thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Now, let's get straight to business. Take us through the situation in Senegal and what actually led to these protests erupting. Sure. So in early February 2024, Senegal witnessed protests across several cities following President Macky Sall's decree that he was going to postpone elections just weeks before they were scheduled to take place. He since backtracked, but the postponement triggered widespread unrest and speculation about its underlying motives, especially following Senegal's uh, oil and gas discoveries. All right, now that we have some background on the situation, Let's turn to the video in question. There are protests in Senegal, yeah? And this is a video showing a protest purportedly in West African country. So how did Africa Check investigate the authenticity of this video? So Africa Check analyzed the video and the results of this analysis showed that it dates back to March 2023, not February 2024, as claimed. So the video was actually of some demonstrations related to a defamation case involving opposition leader Usman Sonko and not of the protests that took place after the elections were postponed. Wow, that's quite a significant revelation. But how did Africa Check go about verifying the true origin of the video? So we conducted reverse image searches of frames from the video and then just with keyword queries uh, we were able to trace the video's origins and by cross-referencing the footage from credible news reports from that time and comparing key details like clothing and vehicles that were visible in the footage we were able to sort of definitively establish the video's context and timeline. That's quite impressive work I must say. But given the gravity of the misinformation surrounding these protests, how does Africa Check's verification process help combat the spread of false narratives? Yeah, I think these verification processes are really crucial countermeasures against false information, especially during volatile uh, situations like these protests. And by providing accurate information that's backed by evidence, we can hopefully dispel rumors, um, calm panic, and ensure that the public gets reliable updates on unfolding events. All right, Kirsten, let's take a quick break here. Now, when we come back, we'll look at the wider implications of this situation and where things stand as of now. Stay with us. Welcome back. You're watching The Proof, powered by Africa Check. Today, we're checking into the claims of the viral video that shows protests breaking out in Senegal after President Macky Sall announced the suspension of the elections originally scheduled for this month. 
Africa Czech researcher Kirsten Kosa is still with me. Now, Kirsten, before we get into the broader implications, it's good for the viewers to actually have the latest update in this situation. Where do things stand now regarding Senegal's elections? So Senegal's constitutional court actually blocked President Macky Sall's attempt um, to postpone the election. Just a few days ago, the first opposition rally was allowed by authorities since uh, his announcement two weeks ago. And while the last minute decree was backed by parliament to trigger a political crisis in the country, um, and that's a country that has you know, long been seen as a bastion of democracy in the region. All right, so what do we know about when the election will hold now, given that the top court in Senegal, that's the Constitutional Court, annulled the president's decree and said President Saul cannot stay in power beyond the end of his second term on April 2nd? So the president's initial proposal was actually supported by MPs after intense debate, which even saw police removing some MPs from the chamber. Uh, so a six month postponement was originally proposed, but a last minute amendment extended that to 10 months, meaning the new election date would be 15th of December. But now with the constitutional court annulling the decree, this hangs in the balance. So a new date hasn't been given, but as you've said, the court says the president can't stay beyond um, the 2nd of April. So what broader implications does this case have for media literacy and responsible information consumption? Well, I think this case underscores the critical importance of media literacy and just being discerning in navigating today's information landscape, especially in times of political unrest. And it highlights how important it is for the public not to just believe or share whatever they come across, even if it's a video, but to think critically about who this information comes from, why it's being shared, and ultimately whether you can actually trust it. Well said, Kirsten. Now looking ahead, how can viewers contribute to combating misinformation in their communities? Well, everyone can play a pretty pivotal role in combating mis and disinformation by staying skeptical, being aware of your biases and engaging with issues from a place that recognizes the importance of facts. So by sharing verified information, by engaging with credible news sources, by encouraging others to do the same, everyone can sort of collectively help foster a more informed, accountable and empowered society. Thank you so much, Kirsten, for those valuable insights. Thanks for having me on, Dashi. Now to our viewers, remember, the pursuit of truth is paramount. Join us next time on The Proof as we continue our mission to uncover the facts behind the headlines. If you have comments or a claim you want us to fact check, tweet at africacheck underscore ng. Follow News Central on our social media platforms. We are at News Central TV and you can check out our website. It's www.newscentral.africa. Always remember to stay vigilant and stay informed. I'm Darshan Usman, signing off.